Nobody likes a gross gutter, but even worse than a gross gutter is a gutter that doesn't work. Enter gutter guards. Gutter guards are devices that, well, guard your gutter. But not all gutter guards are built the same. The best gutter guard for you is going to depend on your preferences and your situation. I'm Brandon from Bill Reagan Roofing Company and today we're going over the strengths and weaknesses of gutter guards to see what's best for you. Number one, gutter screens. The first gutter guard we'll be going over is a gutter screen. Gutter screens are exactly what they sound like. They're a screen-like material that will cover your gutter and let in water, but not most debris. They have two main strengths, and that's their affordability and their ease of cleaning. And you may be asking yourself right now, Brandon, I have a gutter guard. Isn't the entire point that I don't have to clean my gutters anymore? To some extent, that's true, you'll still have to clean your gutters, unfortunately. But gutter guards of all varieties just make it to where you have to clean your gutters far less often. There's a trend that you'll notice moving forward where the easier a gutter with a gutter guard attached on it is to clean, then the more often you're gonna need to clean that. Gutter screens are the easiest ones to clean because all you have to do is just lift them up and then you can get to everything that's gone through the gutter screen into your gutters. Now the way gutter screens are designed is that they won't block the smaller debris like your maple seed helicopters or your pine needles. So maybe not the best choice if you're surrounded by pine trees. What gutter screens do block will just get simply stuck on top of the gutter screen, but it's gonna rely on wind to knock it off. So if you go a long period without having any wind, then you may see some building up of debris like your larger leaves and your twigs on top that they're gonna be waiting on either you or a gust of wind to brush it off that gutter guard. With those cons in mind, however, does come the advantage that they are one of the most affordable types of gutter guards. Now they do make plastic gutter screens, but we don't recommend that simply because usually they're gonna break and give you problems before you get any real benefit out of them. That's why we recommend installing either aluminum or powder coated steel gutter guards, depending on your needs. Number two, micro mesh gutter guards. Micro mesh gutter guards, or gutter mesh as you'll sometimes hear it called, is kind of like a gutter screen. However, instead of the small holes that you'll get with a gutter screen, micro mesh is exactly what it sounds like where it's a tightly woven interlaced fabric mesh that will block a lot more debris than a gutter screen will. They are a great choice for pine needles if you're looking at what gutter guard needs to block pine needles, but they won't block a lot of like the very tiny debris, like small seedlings and little bits like that that can still make their way into your gutters. The primary con that you'll see with gutter mesh is that when you install it, you actually have to screw it in, so it's a lot harder to clean than gutter screens. They'll still block a lot more debris, so you won't have to clean them nearly as often but cleaning them will require a lot more handiwork and in all likelihood, you're probably gonna want that professionally done. The main comparison with gutter mesh to gutter screens is that micro mesh gutter guards are gonna be a lot harder to clean, but you'll have to do it a lot less often compared to gutter screens. Number three, gutter helmet. Gutter helmets are a lot different than gutter screens and gutter mesh because they don't rely on wind to knock off any debris. Any debris that rolls over on top of your gutter is actually just gonna roll right off because they cover the entire gutter. The way that gutter helmets work is that when water comes down, it relies on surface tension for it to actually wick back into your gutters while the debris still slides off the roof. And that water goes into tiny little openings on the gutter helmet. It's not a perfect system though, and you'll still see some water make it through and onto the ground. So we don't actually recommend gutter helmets if you have a basement. The other main cons of gutter helmets is that they're the most expensive of the three options and they're hardest to clean. When you do get your gutter helmets clean, which by the way, you will rarely ever have to clean your gutter helmet, but when you do, you're gonna need manufacturers people to come out there and actually do the cleaning for you because if anybody outside of the manufacturer's domain touches your gutter helmet, it voids the manufacturer's warranty on them and you don't want that. Also, unlike gutter mesh and gutter screens, Gutter helmets will actually be a little less low profile and can possibly be seen from the street view. So you may have to take aesthetics in mind when purchasing your gutter helmet. So there you go, those are our opinions on the top three best gutter guards as well as their strengths and weaknesses. 
Hopefully now you're armed with the knowledge you need to make the best decision for your home. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed, and we thank you so much for watching. Take care.